Right boys, I would like to show you today, I'd like to show you the reactions of several things. They're known as the alkali metals, and we have got, I believe, lithium, sodium and potassium. Now straight away you can see they're in bottles. They don't look like metals. Generally we don't keep metals in bottles. Now if we go in here, if I just pour a little bit out, this is not the metal. This is, can you see, that there is an oil. The oil is stopping it reacting with the atmosphere. Right, uh, cut. Right, now this is the lithium itself. This is lithium. Now we're only used little tiny bits of it because it is very reactive. We really need to do keep away from it. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the oil off. We don't want the oil on the thing when it's reacting with the water. So I'm taking it off. Got it reasonably dry. Now look at this. This is not like a normal metal. It's reasonably soft. I push and I go straight through it. You might be able to just see that's shiny on the inside, which is more like a normal metal. Now I'm going to put it into this water. But first of all, I'm going to put in this universal indicator. Now if you see the universal indicator going in, you can see that's green. Give it a quick stir. It's green. That tells us the water is neutral. Now let's have a look what happens when the lithium goes in. Well, it's floating for one thing. That's a bit weird. Metals don't normally do that. And it's also bubbling. Now, if I get a light, I'm going to try and light those bubbles. Those bubbles coming off, they're actually hydrogen. I do that, it reacts. It doesn't stay alight, but all those bubbles, they keep burning. And that's the hydrogen. You can also see, you might see following it round, there's purple. Now the purple shows we've made an alkali. Now that alkali would be lithium hydroxide. The metal was lithium, the water contains H2O and we've made lithium hydroxide, plus the bubbles of hydrogen. Let's have a look at sodium. So, looking at sodium, uh, cut this bit again and go. Right, this is sodium. It's a white looking metal, but actually that's sodium oxide. It has reacted a bit, but if I cut into it, that's very easy to cut. And can you see how shiny that is on the inside? It looks like a metal, but it won't last long. Now, let's put it in the water. You can start to see the water. It's already starting to go purple from the lithium, but off it goes. And it's bubbling away. It's producing hydrogen. It looks like it's melted and it's very, very hot. Now it's like that. Now, because I've lit it, right, let's try again with some sodium. We can light it. And that's burning away. You can see this purple around here. This is from the, per the sodium hydroxide. The hydrogen, again, is flammable. Over there, where it didn't go, it's all green. Right, and soak the oil off it, and it doesn't look like a metal, but again, very easy to cut. It's like it's nothing there, really, and you can see inside. Lovely and shiny. Now, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna drop this in, and camera back a bit, because it's not very nice. Just goes straight on fire by itself, instantly. Now, I've seen that jump. And we're safe. We're good. Let's try another one. Let's try the other half. Straight away. Catches fire. We can see in there it's melted. Oh, vicious little one at the end there. Now, see all this liquid here? This is all purple because we've made lots of hydroxides. We've made potassium hydroxide. We've made sodium and lithium. And if I can feel it, it feels soapy because all alkalis feel soapy. And we've made lots of hydrogen and it burns. And we've seen that the potassium there is the most reactive, lithium's the least reactive, but they're all pretty reactive. 